Hey, let's take you through the fundamentals of the draw. Now, there's a lot of little things I want you to pay attention to here. Remember, you want to dry fire this at home before you ever get to the range and go live fire. And also remember, crawl, walk, run. You want to master the draw at super slow speed and then just, just start speeding up very gradually to where it's just smooth as silk. Okay. We're using a Walther PPQ, outstanding pistol here, striker fire polymer frame handgun from Walther. Now, I want you to understand a couple things. Your brain likes it when your hands do equal and opposing things. They, it prefers when your hands are doing things that make sense with each other, right? That applies to the draw as well. The draw that our brain would prefer subconsciously would look like this, mirror image. So I index like this, come up, my hands come together and come on target. And there are people that draw that way. Here's the problem with that draw. You're getting the support hand on the strong hand and finalizing your grip or beginning your grip too late in the draw stroke. All right, that's the problem with that draw. So what we have to do is, instead of doing this, we have to do this. We have to turn that motion into this, which is not equal and opposing. Your brain doesn't like that. It's a little bit of a software glitch subconsciously, so it's something you have to practice. So what I have to do is this, and then I pick up the pistol and the strong hand as I come by. All right, so the hand comes over here. Now, you don't want to come all the way over here, so you sweep your hand when you're coming out. That's not what you want. You want your hand here, and then as the pistol comes by, you bring this hand out to notice the L shape to intersect with the pistol and take the trigger guard and use that as a fulcrum to roll into your grip. All right, let me take it through you. I'm going to take it through you nice and slow so you can see what I'm doing. So here I am. Hand comes over, this hand comes up and then down. Pistol comes out, notice finger straight. I come in L shape, I hit the trigger guard. Now I'm starting to roll into my grip about right here. My finger starts to come in. I'm starting to take the slack out. Now the sights are coming up my field of view and by the time I'm at full extension, the grip is done, slack is out of the trigger. I refine the sight picture as necessary for the shot and bam, all right. We do it again. So I come down, pistol comes out, L shape, trigger guard, rolling into my grip, finger on the trigger, and once again, come down nice and smooth, L shape, trigger guard, grip, slack out. So by the time I'm at full extension, the grip is done, the slack is out of the trigger, I refine the sight picture as necessary for the shot, and just like that. I'll speed it up just a little bit. Think about your finger, think about your finger in the holster, and I want to bring the gun out like I'm pointing at the target. Just like that, that path to the target. Fingers in the holster, I come out and point at the target, and then my support hand accommodates that motion. So here we are again, coming up, L shape, couple more. And one more for you. Just like that. Now, once again, you want to master this dry fire nice and slow and slowly build your speed. And then once you've got it down dry fire, hit the range, work on one shot draws and then multiple shots and understand something. Once you start getting into multiple shots, that urge to start slapping the trigger is going to start coming out. All right. And what you'll see is people will, you know, one shot's not bad and they press and then it goes snatch, jerk, mash, crunch, and they go right over the edge. So let's work on a one shot draw before you work on multiple shots with the draw. Keep things focused in on one thing at a time. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, stay safe, hit the range. We'll see you next time right back here.